<sighs> I love hate mail. I really do. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't seem to stop sometimes. And, uh, you know, as you can see in this little clip right here, um, before the gameplay actually starts, uh, this one guy pretty much just sent me a message right after this game that you're about to see. Uh, and he basically says, hey, check out my emblem. I want you to see it. It's, it's my emblem for you to see, basically. So after it's all over, I basically go in there and I check the emblem and I'm like, oh, wow. And uh, <laughs> uh, you get this, um, as you can see. And um, the thing is, uh, I wasn't really recording at the time. It's just like one of those gameplay sessions to where, you know, you just get up, you know, early in the morning because you, know, you didn't sleep that much. So you just decide to play for a little while or whatnot. And uh, I wasn't expecting anything like this to happen. Now, uh, this series or this first episode of this series that I like to call, uh, that I like to call, uh, life's important lessons uh or life lessons so to speak uh it's been something i've been thinking about doing for a while and the thing is the uh there's actually other interesting series that i am going to start but right now i have just been taking a little break because work season is about to start for me and uh it gets pretty hectic but the good news is the more hectic work gets the more uh the more busy i get with everything else including this and this is this is a hobby and this is something that i enjoy doing so as of right now, I'm just taking a, a little bit of a rest and kind of adjusting to the new schedule a little bit because schedule is changing. Uh, the final schedule for work for me will go up uh, probably next week. And then after that, the uh, work grind starts and um, everything will be flowing a lot more consistently. So I'm just trying to balance things out by, uh, by just kind of relaxing in terms of uh, videos as of right now. But anyway, um, yeah, this, this kind of message that I got from this guy I mean he gets 50 plus dropped on him and you know he sends hate mail basically and the thing is the lesson is uh, that have you guys ever heard this term that anger clouds the mind well it is very true as a matter of fact anger especially when it's out of control can cause uh, pretty much irrational thinking um, it causes you to think uh, you're think you're thinking basically pretty much like your logical thinking sometimes just pretty much goes out the window especially again when it's out of control and uh, I mean how is it possible to especially for a solo player how is it possible to get uh, to get this many kills when you're camping if you're holding still and you're not moving you know so uh, <laughs> it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and at the top of that this guy can easily go back into theater and to to watch the gameplay and uh, as you can see camping is at an absolute minimum and the only reason why I say absolute minimum is because there is this one part where I was waiting for two dudes around come around the corner because I could hear them so other than that uh, definitely no camping involved here uh, uh, but <laughs> with that said when uh, you know the thing is uh, this is this is not the first time you guys have seen hate mail and the thing is like a lot of people when they like I've mentioned in the previous hate mail video uh, Basically what happens is people just start to say things that make absolutely no sense and then it gets out of control and then the thing is in life um, And I've been a victim of this uh, I've gotten better with it But I've been a victim of this myself But sometimes when you just get angry at anything regardless of what it is you start to You basically start to lose control and it's like this other part of you all of a sudden just comes out and all of a sudden uh, you make yourself look like a real idiot. So therefore, uh, that's why I pretty much turned on my capture device and uh, went in the theater and recorded this gameplay so you guys would get to see it. And on top of that, you guys get to see hate mail. It's just that this is a good example right here. A very basic example, but this is a very good example of basically um, anger getting the best of someone in such a way that basically they say stupid shit. <laughs> um, and I thought it would be pretty interesting to make a video about it. I was originally going to do this series, um, you know, uh, starting, you know, sometime soon because there's there's a few ideas that I've had in my head, as I mentioned, God knows how many videos ago. And uh, the thing is, I... <laughs> Uh, I just couldn't help but get jumpstart this now because, you know, like I said, I wasn't expecting this to happen. And, you know, to have a good example of something on, on the video as well is uh, something that makes it all better. You know, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody or anything because we've all been victims of this. But, um, yeah, I mean, this happens a lot in Call of Duty especially. People will rage quit and then they'll talk trash or 
sometimes you'll even get people that are uh, just angry by default regardless of whether or not they do well like for instance sometimes especially when you're playing solo this happens like this can happen to you quite a few times where uh, basically you'll run into a team of like let's say three people or even more and uh, they end up uh, they end up winning over and over again because they're on a full team and then they may lose a match, you know, because of you or maybe because there's another decent player that ends up in your, on your team. So it's like a two versus three or a two versus four or a two versus five scenario. And uh, basically what ends up happening is as soon as they lose, they rage quit the lobby right away. And or sometimes they will send you a message talking a lot of trash. Um, <laughs> it, it, sometimes in this game, especially in Call of Duty, um, it really amazes me sometimes how angry people get and how salty things are, but I understand that people are competitive, but um, to have to have the audacity and basically to just send hate mail right off the bat, regardless of how, whether there's bad language or not in there or whatnot, I mean, it really is terrible, <laughs> even with good players too. Now, I've, I've put up a video basically explaining that not all good players are salty because in the, in the example from that video, you, you know, I had a... I had a player that, you know, was beating me in free-for-all, and he was really good, but, you know, he came back and said, hey, man, good games, you know, it was really, really good, really fun and all that. And then at the same time, I've also had another example of where, uh, well, I haven't really posted the video, but the thing is, there was one dude, basically, that just talked trash after beating me in a free-for-all to where he had, like, everybody else in the lobby was going, like, 2 and, like, 15 and uh the his raps and the wraith and uh he was using something else as well was pretty much doing all the work for him <laughs> and here i am not running non-lethals using nothing but a gun and spawning in and pretty much dying by raps and the wraith and all that kind of stuff uh, should have been using blind eye but um out of the three games that i played the guy you know thing like that kind of a blowout happened only once and uh everybody gets blown out in this game regardless of how good you are or how decent you are or whatnot Call of Duty can be so random that sometimes you will get blown out because of BS that happens. So, um, <laughs> and this guy just had the audacity to talk trash, and it's like, why? You know, I even sent him a message saying, hey, why the disrespect? You know, and at first he had no answer, and I'm like, you have no answer? And he was like, he was basically like, uh, because I can say whatever the hell I want, <laughs> you know? And, uh, yeah, he does have a point, but like, really, dude? <laughs> uh... It's like, whether people are good or bad at this game, regardless, the, the, the lesson here, as in life, uh, just like in Call of Duty, basically, is don't let anger cloud your mind. Now, even overconfidence can cloud your mind as well. It actually turns into something called cockiness or, or arrogance. And, uh, you know, you basically what you want to be is you want to be balanced. You know, you want to have a little of both. You got to have some, co uh, some confidence, but not to the point to where it gets cocky. And you also want to be, um, you want, it's okay to be competitive and, you know, but not to the point to where you get angry to where you start saying stupid shit. So, um, so that's, that's what I wanted to talk about today in this, uh, in this very first episode of, of Life Lessons. There's going to be better episodes and there's going to be more realistic ones. And I sure as hell have learned a lot, you know, it's, this is, this is not really about, this is just me talking about things that i've learned and things that we all learn and therefore i just put it in the video because uh i just hey pretty cool to me so i do it so um the thing is there, there's a lot more of this. this is not me trying to talk down to people or anything i mean i'm just a, a victim of everything else and susceptible to everything else just like everybody else is but uh, sometimes things just surprise you and they make you laugh you know the older you get uh the less you care about what you know, uh, well, to some extent, to the less the less you care about what other people think, because a lot of times, a, lo a lot of people like this guy right here in this video that sent that message and stuff, um, simply because of the way they are, really makes them stupid. So therefore, you shouldn't really care about what those kind of people think. Um, you should really just choose of who of who you want to imp who whose in op opinion is important to you and, and all that kind of stuff. So. And the older you get, the better you get at it, and just like everything else. So with time comes wisdom as long as you are logical and as long as you learn from your mistakes and from experiences. So anyway, guys, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. Catch you later.